In this video, we are looking at changes in energy stores. Firstly, energy stores describe where energy is stored in an object. There are six types of energy stores. Kinetic energy stores in moving objects, gravitational potential energy store in objects when they are lifted above the ground, elastic potential energy store when objects are stretched, thermal energy store in objects that are warm or hot, chemical energy store in food and batteries for example, and finally nuclear energy store in the sun and nuclear reactors. Energy transfers describe how energy can be transferred or moved from each energy store. There are four methods of energy transfer, electricity, waves, forces and heating. Okay, so let's see what you can remember. Right, let's look at an example application, a torch for example. Where do you think the energy is stored in a small battery powered torch? There is the energy stored in the chemical energy store of the battery. And then, not quite so obvious, is the energy stored in the thermal energy store of the hot bulb. So how do you think the energy is transferred from each of these energy stores? It is transferred from the battery by electricity. It is transferred from the hot bulb to the surroundings by heating and also as waves in the form of light. Let's look at another example, a falling ball. Where do you think the energy might be stored in a falling ball? It is stored in the gravitational potential energy store when it is above the ground and it is transferred to the kinetic energy store as it starts moving. So how do you think energy is transferred from the gravitational potential energy store to the kinetic energy store? It is transferred by force, and in this case, the ball's weight. So one last question for you to think about. What happens to the ball's energy when it reaches the ground? Right, let's step this up. You're not getting any help this time. Where is the energy stored in these devices, and how is it transferred? And finally, can you come up with your own examples?